It's your boy, Sydney Tarver. The NFL, Corporate America, Amazon DSP, People First Logistics Company, Kazal Boxing. We gonna fight this death row. This is my last day, my last meal. After the day, I'm going on a seven day water fast. So come with me as I go to some of my favorite spots in Niagara Falls to eat. We gonna party, I like your braid. We gonna come party, we gonna get some food. We starting it off at Niagara Cookie Company. Seven day water fast, I gotta become a new person. I gotta kill my old self, turn into my new self. With fasting, look up some of the benefits of fasting. Don't take my word for it. But basically, the short version, I'm gonna replenish my body by not eating, my cells, my body's gonna eat itself, eat my fat cells, eat my storage reserves, kill out all my old cells and replenish and make new cells. And I'm gonna feel like a whole new person in seven days. Definitely, I don't know, I'm probably weighing, I don't know, I've just worked, I'm probably 220 right now. I'm in the 220s right now, so after this, I probably expect to lose 15 to 20 pounds easily by not eating food. The only thing I can do is drink water, water only, no food, no coffee, no ginger shot, no vegetables, no soup, no fruit. Nothing but straight water. That's it. Let's get it. Yeah. We good. <laughs> nah, we good. How you doing? How are you? Nah, for sure. My guy Corey, we getting litty in here. Knockout king right here. Nah. Knock out with these cookies. Let's bro. get it. Let's get it. Let's have what's, what we need. Uh, we have our chocolate frosted uh, sprinkle cookie, our Eminem cookie. We have the dynamic duo. It's going to be half uh, chocolate chip, half triple chocolate. We got our strawberries and cream cookie, our cookies and cream starting to run low. We got our uh, snickerdoodle. We have Ooh, our, uh, yeah, little, I like all of them. Off the chain, man. <laughs> and then we have the uh, turtle cookie Yeah. and a mountain cookie. Yeah. Yeah. We're starting to sell a lot of people are getting stuff for Easter. So nah, for sure. Uh, it's crazy. We got, like, <laughs> we got the galaxy brownie. Right. We have our banana nut bread brownie. Ooh. If you don't like the nuts, we got the regular banana brownie. We got our Buckeye brownie uh, filled with our uh, peanut butter frosting. Yeah. We also have different packaged goods. Yeah. We have the half moons. Yeah. We have the uh, peanut butter egg, chocolate covered um, Oreos. Yeah. Then we also have fresh baked bagels. Man, this dude and... trying to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we also have, uh, you heard of famous Amos. These are famous yeah. Niagara cookies. Yeah, that's and right. Fresh here in Niagara Falls. Hey. You, know? you do the meal when you do the yeah, meal prep. The meal preps, uh, Tuesday's the best day to come in for those. We have about 15 different options. Mm. Yeah, all fresh made, macro baked. For sure. Definitely when I get off this fat, I'm about to fat. Which ones you okay. think they should get? Get us like, what you, how many you want? Four of the best ones. Four. We're Niagara Cookie Company. Mm -hmm. We're located uh, 10065 Niagara Falls Boulevard. Mm -hmm. uh, we opened up probably about two months ago. Yeah. And uh, we make fresh baked cookies. Yeah. We also have meals, pizzas, yeah. all kinds of stuff. Tell them what, this is a, this is a veteran owned? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Veteran yeah. owned, been in the Navy for 20 years. My <laughs> wife, Brittany, back there, she's a master bank baker. She's yeah. a lovely to see her. Yeah. But uh, we've been, you know, traveling real the past 20 years. I plan to retire in about a year, so that would be good. And I mean it when I say it's all me. Bring it, transfer me money after. Oh, no, I was just thinking. <laughs> Check it out. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back. All right, man. Time. I'll see you guys. That was lit, though. I ain't gonna lie. Niagara Cookies on the way to the fast, man. They got a good logo. These some of the best cookies in the falls. I got these over crumbled cookies. We comparing and contrast. Shout out to my dog, Corey. Military home. Snicker noodle. Crazy. I'm making one for right now. But we still gotta go to squeeze, man. We gotta run. I'm stupid good. Shout out to Niagara Cookies. Shout out Corey. Military owned business. 10 out of 10. Must have it. Hey, we only got a few hours left I can eat before I go seven days straight. Water on. What do you predict your mood and everything to be like? Low energy. Low energy. Stay out of my way. I'm only conserving my energy to do my work, record content, go to the gym, try to work out if I can, and focus my thoughts and have a clear mind. Because you did it before, right? Definitely did it before. What was it like last time? It was hell. I almost passed out, but at the end of it, it felt great, and I made like $400,000. You made four hundred. What makes a person go like, oh, I don't want to eat for seven days, though? Like, is it just the part of you detox by your body, or you do it because it's like hard to do when you feel good? It's mental. Like, you know how you get in the loop? Like, I'm going to start eating healthy today. I just kept been saying that over and over and then I find myself eating a hamburger or eating some bad, some chicken wings. So if I shock my body for seven days straight and only think positive thoughts about when I want to come back, I'm going to shrink my stomach and then I'm not going to want to eat the nasty, greasy food. Even though I work out a lot and can work out and keep doing that, I just want to have an overall better diet at the end of this so I can stay. Get back to my high school weight, 200, 205, 195, around that. Knock the skirt off. 
but um, I want to get back to my high school weight. Theoretically, high school, college, you're not supposed to be bigger than you were when you were in high school. When you were 18, your weight that you weighed when you were 18, you're pretty much supposed to stay there if you was a physically fit person. You're not supposed to gain like 50, 100 more pounds, like unless you football. Like a lot of NFL players, when they get out of the NFL, they lose 100 pounds. Look at the offensive linemen. Look at Joe, um, Joe Thomas. Look at Jeff Saturday. Some of these offensive linemen, once they done play football, they lose like 200 pounds and get back skinny because you're not supposed to really be that heavy walking around. And yes, you can control how much you weight. There's no excuse for not going to the gym and not working out. Like the gym helps everybody. People's making excuse, I can't do this, I can't do this. My doctor, like you're lying to yourself. Like everybody's supposed to be physically fit. Like you, it's just a mental disease. Like eating bad is a mental disease. Like it all goes, it's a disease if you can't control what you eat. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we own.